Hello, folks. My name is Jay Amarillinson, and I'm a transformation engineering lead here at Software AG. And today we're doing another Eris tutorial video. Now, Eris has a lot of different components about it, but today we're going to be talking specifically about the queries. Now, what are queries, you might ask? Well, queries are a way of helping to understand the spiraling out, the sort of spider webbing of impacts of any given object or model in the database. That means I can understand if I change one thing, here are all the other things that are affected, not just one relationship away, but multiple relationships away, kind of the way that a relational database works. Now to do that, I'm going to use the Eris Architect module today. And so to do that, I'm going to go over to my administration, uh, or my, my name is System Administrator, and choose Download Clients. That'll let me launch my Eris Architect or Designer from Eris Connect, or if you have the jar file, you can just fire that up. Now once I'm an Eris Ar uh, Architect, I'm going to try and create a new query to find out one specific piece of information. I need to understand who in my team needs to access which systems to help perform what tasks? That's a great question. So what I'm gonna do is create a new query on my database of process models and organizational charts and all those sorts of things. Um, I've got a bunch of information obviously filled out in advance. So, you know, as you might imagine, that's gonna be a, a great boon to my query. It's gonna have, have more data on it, but let's start this off. So. The first thing you do in a query is you specify what kind of information you're going to be querying on. In this case, I'm going to be querying on an organizational chart. Now, that organizational chart is going to have a bunch of different types of things on it, one of which it's going to contain is an object that I need to know about. So it's going to contain roles. Those are the people that I care about, and those are the people that I manage, and I want to understand what they're using to, to carry out their tasks. Now I can click on each of these boxes and it will let me follow through the next layer of query. Okay, so the role is going to be performing a bunch of tasks. Now I don't care about everything. It has you know, the different racy relationships, accountable, consulted, informed. I don't care about those. I just care about what this person is doing. So I'm gonna say, I wanna know what they have a relationship with from the function view, which is my people doing stuff or it's a whole part of the heiress house. And I want those functions that they carry out. So show me only the things that they actually do. And then I'm gonna go one last layer down and say, of those functions, I want to know what application systems support those functions. Essentially, show me of my people, what apps they need to get access to to be able to perform the tasks that they do with this organization. All right, let's figure this out. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna start my query and I'm gonna put look at my local dealership. Say, what does this look like? So it's gonna run the query and you can see directly it's gonna follow through my organizational chart, my local dealership, has a roles on it like my, my sales rep, but do functions like these things and each of these functions has applications like these applications. Okay, well that's a really good way of visualizing things, however, Let's go one step further because we're actually going to be using this in a subsequent video in order to help report out on how these things are being done in the form of dashboards. So to do that, we need a table view. So I'm going to click on this create table view button. It's going to open up a blank template. What is a template? Well, a template allows me to drag and drop items from my query available here at the top of the screen into a spreadsheet style view that's gonna run and kick out results once I've got my query completed. So I'm gonna say the first thing I wanna know is I wanna know the roles on my team. Then I want to know what, what, are, they, what are they doing? So here are their tasks. And lastly, I need to know what applications they're using. Now there's one more thing I'm gonna do afterwards, but let's start with this. So my roles, I'm gonna drag and drop it into here. My function, I'm gonna drag and drop into here. Left click, drag as we go. And here is my template, I'm gonna run it again. And you can see the result. Here's my people, here are the things they do, and here are the, is the application or applications that they use in order to, to carry out those tasks. Now, I'm gonna add one more column because we can add a bunch of different types of information into this. So I'm gonna actually add description of application. Now, here's a question. 
how am I going to get this description? Well, the answer is already in the data we've got. You see, these queries are able to pull equals query attributes from whatever I want. So I'm going to type in description. I'm going to say, I want to get the description of one of the things in my query. So I'm going to type in equals query attribute value. So I want to get the value of query item, which is application, semicolon attribute, which is description definition. And you'll see, hey, my application system type description definition. Here is what I'm going to get as a result of running my query. Start the query again. And what do I see on my result page? Well, I see my local dealership sales rep as my role, all of the tasks they do, all the applications that they're using, and now the descriptions of each of those applications. Well, isn't that convenient? And this is a representative example of the kind of thing you can do with querying, because now we can take that query um, and we can add all sorts of different attributes and different types of information you're, you're capturing inside the query that lets you export it and analyze it and use it. In fact, we'll use it later on for dashboarding because this is a live query that we can run over and over again in the database for analysis. And when we've got those queries, we can save and keep those queries for later. So I can save it into my query area. In my private area, I can publish those queries so they can become public and available to others. And ultimately, I can create a better analysis environment for understanding the impact of change, understanding the impact of any given element, and making good decisions on how and where change will matter the most and affect things that you need to care about and people you need to, to notify of that change. Thank you so much for paying attention. Once again, I am J.M. Erlinson, a transformation engineering lead here at Software AG, and this is our series of videos on the Eris product. Now, let, leave us a comment if you have any questions about it, or com, get in touch with your sales representative, or just Software AG in general, if you want to find out more about the Eris product. Thank you so much for your time, and we will see you in the next video.